أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم ومنين مؤمنات أرز سستز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Congratulations on the birthday anniversary of Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the master of all the messengers, Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, and the birthday of the teacher from the school of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from the school of Ahlul Bayt, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi afdal salawat wa tahiyyat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the opportunity to be amongst their sincere lovers and followers, inshallah. I want to share on this auspicious occasion a hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a hadith from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. Although the hadith from the Imams of Ahlul Bayt are all from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, the hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is regarding how we should discipline our children and what we owe them as a duty. And in there he says that we need to discipline and teach our children our children to love the Prophet and to love his family and also to learn the Holy Quran. So in this hadith, although there are other hadith that mention other aspects of being dutiful to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the rights that we owe to our children in terms of what we should teach them, but uh, you'll find what is common in there is obviously teaching them the Holy Quran. And in this hadith, there is an elaboration, which is one of the teachings from the Holy Quran to love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to love his family. Inshallah, this is something we keep in mind as we try to strive to give the best to our children, to give them those which are what we owe them, which are our duty that we owe them and we will be asked about on the Day of Judgment from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. Um, back to the first hadith, part of loving Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family is to, and teaching our children that, is to make sure that on the occasions of their birth or their martyrdom, we place emphasis on those occasions, uh, on their births, perhaps make sure that we bring happiness to our family and remind them that this is because of the happiness and the happy occasion of the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or any of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt or any of the Ma'asumeen sallallahu wa sallam alayhim ajma'een and uh, on their martyrdom occasion place emphasis about those and make sure that we participate in any programs that are held in keeping their memory and reviving their memory, insha'Allah. In the hadith from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, uh, there is uh, one of the hadith from the Imam sallallahu alayhi that I wanted to share is regarding how we should be all brothers and uh, basically maintain brotherhood and sisterhood, if, uh, I mean for the ladies obviously, uh, in the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Imam says, Ittaqullah wa tahabu uh, uh, wa, uh, be considerate of your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be brothers to one another and uh, he says first one of the qualities of a good brother is to be bar uh, barara or barreen meaning that we fulfill our duty to our brothers and that requires learning what is our duty to our brothers it's not my discussion now i just wanted to share the hadith perhaps those of you who are interested would learn about what we owe our brothers in faith uh, so he says we need to be barara and then the imam salawatullah wa salamu alayhi he says we need to love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mutahabbina fillah. And also he continues to say that we need to be 
uh, I'm concerned about being righteous in regards to our uh, brothers in terms of uh, making sure that if they are needy we are helping them if they are in difficulty we're giving them a hand or at least empathize with them and be concerned about their affairs as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I'll finish with this he says in a beautiful hadith that whoever does not care about the affairs of his fellow uh, believers is not one of us. Man asbaha la yahtam bi umur al muslimin falaysa bi muslim. Inshallah, we're amongst the believers and we're amongst the special uh, lovers of Ahlul Bayt who are brothers in the love of the Prophet and his family. Salawatullah wa salamu alayhim ajma'in. Once again, congratulations on this, uh, these auspicious occasions of the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the birth of. Imam Jafar al Sadiq alayhi afdal al salawat wa tahiyyat. Ya man Allah. Inshallah, I'll uh, ask Mu'minin and Mu'minat will finish with a request for uh, Fatiha for all the marhumin, especially those from our family members, ancestors, and those who taught us the love of the Prophet and his progeny. We sent to their uh, souls rewards of Al Fatiha ma salat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa sallam. Bismillah.